This is Twit. Cedric uh, Kotchin uh, at in McAfee's Advanced Threat Research Team uh, came up with a clever hack, and we've seen things like this, Leo, um, with with voice assistants before. Where, and I'm sure that there have been some some for iOS, um, where features are added without fully vetting all of the possible ways that they can be abused. Turns out that in Windows 10, Cortana can be abused. Um, until last Tuesday. This is another of the things that Microsoft locked down. So um, uh, this, this one is a not a remote problem because it involves Cortana, but a local one. It turns out that if you say, if you activate uh, Cortana and, uh, and she comes alive on a locked machine. So the machine is, is powered on, but locked so that it's not supposed to do anything. Turns out Cortana is still listening. So anyone can come along and activate Cortana. It turns out that you can either either phonetically or use the keyboard to start typing. You can type while Cortana is listening for more verbal command. And these guys came up with a multi-stage means, to make a long story short, of running an externally provided PowerShell script from a USB drive that's plugged into the machine. That ends up getting registered with a system. Uh, Cortana is able to see it. And when you ask for a search... It gets its context. Its contents are indexed, which allows you to bring up a file, which in this case is a PowerShell script, which is the first stage of the attack. It's then possible to get that to execute code, your own hacker provided code from the USB device and uh, and go as far as, for example, completely taking over the locked session and even changing the system's password uh, on a locked machine. The, the blog posting that McAfee put up uh, was titled, Want to Break Into a Locked Windows 10 Device? Ask Cortana. Um, so that's yet another thing that last Tuesday's uh, patch round fixed, uh, fortunately. And... Uh, and they noted that because they felt that this was, you know, now now there's full details published. It takes no uh, uh, advanced hacking ability in order to to abuse this. So um, they were suggesting, and I, I would absolutely concur uh, if you do not update. To, if for whatever reason you have not updated to last Tuesday's patches that fix this, by all means disable Cortana on when the system is locked. And I would argue that's just sound security practice. Um, there are just too many opportunities for this kind of exploit on a system which should just be shut down and not listening to anybody while it's locked. So I, I would say even after having patched the, the the June updates, I would I don't unless you have a compelling need to have Cortana listening while your system is locked, I think it makes a lot of sense to disable that. And had you done so already, this would have never been a vulnerability. Um, I expect there will be uh, some people, uh, getting up to some antics uh, with this one because it's just it's so easy to do. And I, and if anyone is interested, I have a link in the show notes. They have a super detailed blow by blow. How do you pull this off? Uh, you know, explanation in in you their, have to have physical access to the machine. Of yes, 
Yes, yes, yes. You absolutely have to physical access. So it's not nearly as worrisome as the as the remote code execution problems that, uh, that we talked about first.